I can start. Hi, everybody. I'm Lihi Aviram's little sister. 
Um, first of all, I want to say thank you for coming and thank you for all his friends from Burning Man parties and all the parties. Like, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for loving him so much <laughs> and caring for him so much. I know he had a serious family over there. <laughs> and I wish that... <laughs> I wish I was able to party with him more. <laughs> because we did party together a lot. I was the cool sister. <sighs> I did. I had the most fun with my brother and we were pretty close. Even though I live in Israel and it's really far. But we spoke, you know, and he would tell me his stories. And I would listen to him as much as I would think he's such an idiot. Like, why? <laughs> I would say, like, why? Don't you want to get married? Have children? Look at your friends. He's like, they're suffering. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. He really loved his parties and his friends. And he loved life. And he loved to eat. And he loved his family. And he just wanted to be accepted for who he is. And I'm just, um, the, the biggest thing I regret is just not listening to his stories and let him live his life. But really, what normal person would really do that to a family member? Seriously. You know? Like, really? Right? Like, it wasn't wrong of us to be so pissed at the way he was and the life that he chose to live. <laughs> we were jealous. <laughs> we were jealous that he that he was so carefree and we're like oh, oh, God Anyways I can't believe this day has come And um Thank you for all your stories They're so amazing I showed what a giving person he was and how he cared and he'd give his last cent to anybody like really he would just do everything for anyone he was so with a smile with a smile i don't think has anyone ever argued with him really like it's he's really hard to argue with i'm usually just like talking on wall and he's just like uh, well well <laughs> Anyways, um, so, well, beyond things from bringing me here to L.A. with no kids, <laughs> no kids and no husband, and, um, I'm sorry, and I love you so much, I'm gonna miss him like crazy, and I just, it's still a dream. <sighs> so, if anybody has... You know, we're sitting Shiva afterwards, and like, really, it's seven days, and I would really appreciate all the friends from his other family. Like, please come by and tell me stories, everything. I know he celebrated his bar mitzvah last year at Burning Man. And I want stories like that. Like, I want stories like that. Anyways, um, so... So, if anyone has anything to say, you're welcome to take the mic and say something. I'm sure there's um, really good friends out there that we never really met. But I will uh, give my sister. Do you want to say something? <laughs> I'm the not cool sister. She's really cool to me. Too. I'm the not cool sister. I'm the older sister. He was older, but I definitely was older. Um, so I wanted to tell him, I know he's here and I'm not a spiritual person. I don't believe in so many things and I just know he's here. Um, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you, Aviram, for, um, never making me feel that I was annoying and always really letting me come around, never kicking me out of his room ever growing up. He's a year older than me. He has never kicked me out of his room. No matter who was there, I can always come. Um, no matter what I needed, he would always be like, 
Um, okay, well, let me think, let me think. Uh, all right, I'll call Mark. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll get it done, I'll get it done, don't worry. So, and uh, he made my wedding amazing and my husband's 40th birthday amazing and really all the birthdays and all the parties amazing. And um, I'm sorry, Aviram, that I never wanted to listen I, to his Burning Man and party stories. So I'm sorry. And I mean that because I would definitely want to listen today. Um, I didn't accept him uh, like that. I wanted him to be healthy and I wanted him to live a long life. And um, I'm going to share real quick a spiritual thing we shared because usually I shut him down. Now we're close. I mean, right? I'm, I mean, he comes to Shabbat, he comes to dinners, he comes to holidays. He's great. And, you know, sometimes I'd forget and he would always call and ask, is Shabbat at your house? Is Shabbat at your house? And then I'd have to apologize if it's, there's Persian food because he didn't like Persian food. My husband's Persian. And, he's, and then I'd be like, all right, I'll make fish too. So just come. Because, like, if there's no good food, he probably wouldn't come. <laughs> So, um, so we sat together last month um, at the table, just him and I. I don't know where everybody was for the first time ever, him and I, like very quiet. And he said to me, you know, I'm sorry if there's people that believe in stuff. I'm not offending anyone. This is what he says to me. Don't get offended. He said to me, you know, all this kosher bullshit, it's all bullshit. All these prayers, it's all bullshit. He said there's only one prayer that's important. And that's the Kaddish. Oh and that's God. what you say when somebody dies. He says, you know, I was up there already. I've been up there. I know what's up there. Up there, there's a lot of souls. A lot of souls. A lot. Too many souls for the bodies that are down here. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, okay, all right, okay. I'm going to listen because this is actually interesting. Like, all right, maybe he knows something I don't know, right? So it's like they're all up there. There aren't enough bodies down here. So when you get up there, the only thing that you're judged about is if you were a good person. Means you didn't, like, hurt anybody and you didn't steal. And you really didn't cause anybody any pain. So if you go up there and you're good... Like, you get ahead of the line. He's like, so I know when I get up there, I'm good. Like, I, I know I'm, I'm good. And I'm like, okay. You know, then I ask questions like, are you allowed to do this? Are you allowed to do that? Like, and he answered back. Like, I'm like, all right, I'm going to try to follow his rules. And uh, then he said to me, you know, I know my dad is no longer up there because of all the Kaddish. And this is a man that didn't care to go to temple, didn't, okay? But he said like this, because of all the Kaddish that everybody um, said, he's already back down here. So, that's it. So, thank you all for all the love. It's very nice to know that your brother was so loved. And uh, that's it. I don't know, mother, dear, you wanna say something? You can say in Hebrew. You want to say? You want? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, no. Um, first, when he was born. Okay. Avram, Merega Shunulad, Upashut, Zaita Leda Hikala. In one hour from the first Meatsir Ada Leda, Zayada Varachikal Baulam, I'm like, wow, in Kazuladan Yavia Sara, Lomashane Shahre, Haram Zekvar Loya, Oto Dabar, Lomar Leda Shloita Kala, Agidul Shloya Kal, Oya Bemet, Yelet Maxim Kiwaya Kaze. וגם כשהוא הוא מאוד עזר לי, בזכותו בוא נאמר, אני גרפיקאית, הוא לימד אותי לעבוד על המחשב, הייתה לו הרבה סבלנות, מה שרציתי, מה שביקשתי, אף פעם הוא לא אמר לא, לא היה לו דבר כזה לא, 
ומה שהכי אהבתי אצלו, הוא כל כך שמח בשמחה של האחרים. כאילו, אם מישהו היה מצליח, וואו, איזה כיף, הוא הצליח, וזה, זה לא רואים אצל הרבה אנשים. והוא, כל, כל הצלחה, וכשהייתי אומרת לו, אבירם, איזה יופי, זה הצליח, וזה הצליח, וזה הצליח, כאילו, אין, זה היה, זה היה, זה היה האושר שלו, להיות מאושר מהאושר של האחרים. אה, תודה לכולם. אה, כל מה שקראתי, כל מה שכתבתם, כל... פשוט אני... איך אומרים? זה, זה מאוד מאוד מחזק. מאוד מחזק. אני תמיד חשבתי באיזשהו מקום שהוא לבד, ואיפה לבד? אני לבד. הוא לא היה לבד. כל כך הרבה חברים, כל כך הרבה אהבה. אין, אין דברים כאלה. תודה לכולם. There's one, I mean, she said a lot, my mom, but she said, okay, quick, easy labor. He came out in an hour, and she was like, wow, so easy, I'm going to have a hundred. And then he was easy to be raised, very easy going. He helped her with everything. He taught her the graphic design. She's the graphic designer because of him. Um, the most important thing, which I, those who know him, which is really something that is amazing about him and that you don't see in too many people. He was so happy when you did well. When somebody did well, he celebrated it like it was his own success. Like I know when Ido was like doing his music, he would talk about it, whoa, dude. And I'd be like, Aviram, why don't you do your own stuff and let's be happy about your stuff. You know, like this person is doing well. Oh, did you hear they're getting this and that? This person had another kid. Oh, we had another kid. Isn't that exciting? Like so happy for everybody's success and everybody's happiness. And that is like the greatest thing of all. Yeah, yeah. Your happiness was his happiness. So that's what my mom shared. And, yeah. Yes, and of course she said thank you, all of you, that you're strengthening, thre- strengthening her through your stories and experiences with Avira. Anybody wants to say? Just uh, for Avira, Kaddish was very important, but you know, also during Kaddish, uh, it's very important to say amen. It's. Um, And as as no, oh, both the was well. The, it's 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 a big mitzvah also to say amen for Kaddish, and this is what's very important for Abraham. So when we do say Kaddish, just you know, um, say it loud, and the rabbi should be here. I think any minute now, we could start. Anybody else wants to uh, share? Come up. Hey guys, I, I know a lot of us um, met through Avi. You could turn to the person next to you and chances are you guys met him through Avi. And that was his greatest gift, I think, that he brought to my life was all of you. And he was a truly brilliant man underneath it all. And Every one of us got to see that at least a little bit, his light in some form or another. So uh, uh, thank you for bringing us all together, Avi. Thank you. My name is uh, Aaron Aharon. Um, I've known Avi for, uh, I moved up to L.A. about seven years ago. Uh, I met Avi probably about four to five-ish years ago. And uh, he took me to my first Desert Hearts, the festival that's in the, you know, Los Coyotes around San Diego. He took me there. He showed me the best time. You know, as much as Avi can be Avi as sometimes, and you just want to, like, rip his head off, There, I know deep down 
at the end of the day, there was not a bad bone in that man's body. And uh, he's obviously very certainly, certainly going to be missed. Um, we just need to go ahead and make him proud, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry for your last. I don't know what to say. I met Avi when I was a kid. We've been friends for over 20 years. He was my first friend and my first boyfriend in America. I couldn't even speak English when we met. To this day, I don't know how we communicated. <laughs> but throughout the years, he was my family. I just seen him few weeks ago at LIB, and we had so much fun. He was sitting and telling me how proud he is that both of his sisters grew up to be beautiful, amazing women, that he's an uncle, and it was so much joy in his words. I can't believe he's gone. A part of me died with him. But I know he's always going to be with us as long as we remember. He will always dance with me on the dance floor as long as I'm alive. I love you, Avi. We're going to begin the service. Before we do, we just wanted to share one thing. Not more than two minutes. We're all in, out in the sun for a while. Um, in addition to showing respect to Avi, coming out here and, and learning about him, the most important thing is, Vachai The Torah tells us, the living must take to heart, which means, as was eloquently just said, to take something with from Avi and to live, and that we live with. The Talmud says a story about Elijah. A man once came to a city and he met Elijah the prophet. And he asked Elijah, who in this town is going to go to heaven? And Elijah said, I think you could probably figure that out yourself. The man apparently wanted to know who to hang out with and he figured those who were going to go to heaven would probably be good people to hang out with. So, Elijah, I think, let's go to the synagogue. They go to the synagogue, the PC people that are praying and they're studying Torah. He says, Elijah, I think everyone here, look how they're praying, look how they're studying, I think they're all going to go to heaven. Elijah said, you're right, and let me show you some more people that are also going to heaven. They went out of the synagogue, and they walked to the outskirts of the town, to a very poor area, people with very tired faces, people with very lonely faces, pained faces. And while they're standing over there, these two jokers, these two clowns, these two circus people come out and they start doing all these tricks and jokes. And all of a sudden, they brought life to these people's faces. All of a sudden, they brought smiles to their faces. And Elijah turned to this man and he said, these two clowns are also going to heaven. Avi brought lots of joy to people throughout his lifetime. As his sister told me, he stayed 21 for his whole life. He stayed joyous and happy and forever 21, and that's how he brought joy to people. And it's joy is no laughing matter. It's an important thing. Bringing someone, a smile to another person is a really, really big thing. So if we're going to take one thing from Avi and give one thing to Avi, it's to think about how to bring a smile to another person's face, how to bring another joy to another person in their life's face. Because 
a neshama, okay, it's all beyond my two minutes, but ten seconds more. A neshama has no bounds, and a neshama could feel things. The, the soul can feel things in a different way than we can. If you tell your mom, I love you, she hears you. But how deeply does she hear you? But a soul feels things in a very, very deep way, because the soul doesn't have the bounds of the body. So when we do something in obvious memory, we bring joy to another person's face, in his memory, that gives him something in a very, very deep way, until the day when the Mashiach will come, and those who are passed away will live again in the everlasting life of the coming Mashiach. At this time, we're going to call all those who are designated to be the pallbearers. Um, this was really hard because there is a lot of people that I would want to give the respect to that brought happiness to my brother. Um, Ido Liran, Amit Cohen, Amir Israel, Yaron Dorani, Mark Mandilion, John Lario, Richard Bajan, Matthew Hernest, and to follow the, I don't know, what is it called? To follow the, 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 the people, Brandon Dubin, Eric Scott, Mickey Cutts, and Johnny King. Okay, you go to Kerry, follow the rabbi.
when I say a few psalms in merit of Aviram ben Moshe, there's a Shama should enter Gan Eden. At this time, the soul can, not just the soul, but Avi can hear us. If anyone would like to ask forgiveness for anything, they want, can go over quietly and say whatever they like to say quietly to ask for forgiveness. If, they, if God forbid, he was, if you feel that you wronged him in any way, or just in case, it's a good time now to say that to ask for forgiveness. Miz Mirla David, I know you really are, sir. Been is there, she abit seni, I'm a nukus nalini, Nafshi Shavian Henning, and the Sagan Shmei Gamke, the Hits Mavsira, Kiate, Modi, Shizhom Stachaim, Nahmuni, Tark von the Shokhang Sere, Shant of Shamarishi Kusvea, Active Hesse de Funicum, Hayo, Vishati, Visadino, the Yerichamim. Okay, please say, please repeat after me. A psalm by David. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul. He directs me in the paths of righteousness for the sake of his name. Even if I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your, ro your rod and your staff, they will comfort me. You will prepare a table before my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup is full. Only goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for many long years. Okay, we're going to begin to lower the casket into the earth. When the casket has been fully lowered into the earth, it's the last act of kindness we could do for Avi is the burial. It's a big mitzvah to be a part of this and to do an act of love and kindness. This lack, And the custom is that when you take a shovel, you first begin with holding the shovel downwards to show that this is not something that we want to do but and, and that we just need, we need to do. And it's also customary not to pass the shovel to the next person and rather to put it back into the, into the earth. Okay. <laughs>
Hey, my leader. Alkan pe Ashkenaz Mamaylis, Akdesh lo tahirim kizeir harakia mazirim as nishmas. Biram ben Moshe shaholak leilame, ba'avur shenad utzaka ba'askar as nishmasi. The Ganeid and Pinin from the Kosse, the King Bal Harachamim, Yasti Reu, the Seis of Knop of Milamim, the Yid, Servitz of Achaim, the Sishmasse, Adi Noyu Nakalase, the Yuachamish Kavi Bisholle, Mine Marami. Shalomu <laughs> Okay, we're going to now do the last act of kindness for Avi, and please, it, it's it's best that we do it, those who care about him, and, and that we should do as much as we can to fill the grave. So please try to, we need some people with a little bit of uh, energy to be able to do this mitzvah able-bodied men preferred uh, who are able to help us with this uh, will please come forward
כאן ביחידה של הרבה. ואלמא דרו הכי טוב בתותח, והתורה, בפיאק, ובחייה, יש אולי של תלה, איך אלה? איך אלה? ולפרק חיה ובמפני קרתה ירושלת. ובעיקר מעקר מול חנה ובחתה ותוכה מהרעה ומעטרה מול חנה קדישה ושמיה לעטרה. וזיבה ויזכרה ושכינתה ועוצמה חוקנה ועטרה ושכן. חי חול גורם וחול וחי בכל בית ישראל תתקלח ארבעה וכוונה ובוטה מנדה ומקל אמר בית ישראל בהגרה וזמן 